Hi everyone, I'm back today to share my new um, Secret Paris Ladies Journal. It's called Secret because I've got two travellers notebooks in it with little secret compartments. After the closure, a, a snippet roll again. Yes, I'm still obsessed with my snippet rolls. Um, but I like these because if your journal gets fatter, you can um, accommodate it. So the front cover is made of fabric, um, vintage laces, and I've printed onto fabric this beautiful lady of um, Paris Hotel scene. I just absolutely love this picture. Um, it's got blue tacking underneath, vintage lace underneath, and some lace on the side, Battenberg lace at the bottom, some tassels. And that's the back of it, lace and some more vintage laces. Um, these journals I thought might be a good idea because when you finished using your, um, your traveller's notebook, sometimes they're full and that's it, you have to buy another one um, and your journal's basically finished then. But with these, I thought if you have some secret pockets in them, you can just, when you get another traveller's notebook, just slot it in and keep your little bits and mementos in. Um, the inside is also fabric with blue and cream tacking, a little printed um, Paris advertisement sign, some cheesecloth, button, a little bit of lace, lace down the bottom, and I've laid it with um, a couple of different laces and trims. Um, I'll just quickly go through the two traveller's notebooks with you. This journal does come with both the two travellers notebooks and I'll be putting it in for sale in my Etsy shop tonight later on. The first one is, um, I think now I may be wrong, I, I will check them afterwards and put it below in the box. I think there are 44 pages front to back on these, on both journals, but I will check to double check before I list it. First one has got... Um, I'll just put that to one side while I can go through the journal a bit more. See, I have a bad trouble me when I'm doing these videos of getting everything in frame. So if I'm all over the place, I do apologise. Um, I've got a little journal card for pear soap. I love these pear soap adverts. They were pretty big in the UK um, and I used to love this soap when I was a child. Um, it was everywhere and don't seem to see it very much now. Um, a little corner tuck in here with some little Tim Holtz paper dolls. Got some uh, rose paper, um, a little guest check with a beautiful little vintage child on it. I've left quite a bit for journal and like I said if it's a secret journal you need to write your secrets down and keep them well hidden in your little fabric pocket. Um, underneath more journal in space, little vintage lady journal and card. Um, some more paper. I've done a little booklet with some more journal and spacing. A little belly band. Some more plain space, music paper, graph paper, some more journal and space. Like I said, they mainly are for journaling these little traveller's notebooks. Uh, so I have left plenty of space in them. I will quickly go through these because I don't want to keep here all day. Um, just like to say I've got back from my holiday and I cannot believe how cold it is in the UK. I spent 10 days in Monte Carlo and I've come back from 30 degrees to about 9. So I'm absolutely freezing. Um, this is a little girl... Um, from the Artie Mays Victorian Children collection, another guest check, um, more lined paper, some blank paper, graph paper, more music paper, plain. I won't quite go through it because it's basically obvious what it is. And at the back I've left another little tuck spot um, with a journal, Paris journaling card and two little Tim Holtz paper dolls. Um, 
just pretty plain on the front with just um, some vintage ladies. Now the second traveller's notebook, I've just layered up with um, a little bit of ticking, some lace, um, a book plate, I couldn't think what they were called then. Um, this is pretty much similar, it's got a guest check-in which has plenty of journalist space on the back. Hope I'm still in frame here, but I'm probably not, so I do apologise. A little tag, some paper, usual music paper, another little booklet with journaling space, journaling card, another one of Artie Mazes. Little blue ticking belly band with a couple of journaling cards in. Uh, some more little graph paper, some line paper. Um, I've really enjoyed making these. Um, I love working with fabric and lace, so I try other things, but I tend to always come back to these. <laughs> little um, blue tacking fabric pocket laid with a bit of cheesecloth. Um, some journaling cards, some more writing space. Must admit, while it's been great to get away, I did miss crafting. And this is my first day back at home before I hit work tomorrow, so I'm hoping to get a little bit done and film one or two things I needed to film. But it's great to go away, but it's always good to get back home, isn't it? Um, another guest check with a little Victorian lady on it. Um, some pink cheesecloth and music paper. Little journaling tag. And a little pocket at the back with some journaling cards and some spare paper. And they both go in the little pockets so they can be tucked away quite easily. And like I said, when they're filled, filled they can just be replaced quite easily. So basically, there you are, that's it. Well, thanks for watching, and thanks to all my new subscribers. I can't believe. I've actually gone well over 200 now and um, I am hoping to do a giveaway soon. I did say I'd do one when I got to 200 subscribers but I've gone over now but like I said I've been away so I haven't got time but I will do one pretty soon and thank you for watching and always supporting me. Bye!